What is the difference between getting pre-qualified for a mortgage versus getting pre-approved for a mortgage? Pre-qualification is the first step in the home loan process, and it allows the lender to get an idea of how much money you can borrow. With pre-qualification, the lender will take a look at your income to determine an estimated loan amount. The pre-qualification process is based on consumer submitted data, so it is based solely on the information handed over to the lender. So it doesn't mean much if accurate data is not provided. The lender won't take a closer look at a borrower's financial situation and history to determine how much mortgage they can reasonably afford until they reach the pre-approval stage. So a pre-qualification does not guarantee that you will be approved for the loan and it does not lock in an interest rate. It is just the first step in the process. Pre-approval, on the other hand, is the next step and is much more secure. A pre-qualification is a good indication of your credit worthiness and the ability to borrow, but a pre-approval is much more involved. The borrower must complete an official mortgage application to get pre-approved, as well as supply the lender with all of the necessary documentation to perform an extensive credit and financial background check. Once a lender is satisfied with your financial situation, you will be pre-approved for a loan amount and interest rate. This can help you save time when shopping for a home since you know exactly how much you can afford. So, to summarize, pre-qualification offers an estimate of how much you can borrow, while pre-approval guarantees that you will be approved for a loan amount and interest rate. Now, that being said, it does not guarantee that you will be approved for a mortgage on the exact home that you are looking at, because there are many factors that come into play once you find a home. For instance, is the home being sold as is, it is a year round home or just seasonal, is the water drinkable and so on. So that is why you should still always make your offers conditional on financing because just because you're pre-approved for the mortgage doesn't mean that the home will be approved for the mortgage. I hope this information helps and I hope you're all doing well.